Countries around the world are struggling to find the balance between controlling the virus and restarting their economies. But it will be an uphill task with the World Health Organization warning the coronavirus may never be wiped out. A long, long way to go. The World Health Organization warns that COVID-19 may be here to stay and people around the world will just have to learn to deal with it. This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities and this virus may never go away. The agency says it's impossible to predict how long the pandemic will last and even if a vaccine is developed, challenges will remain. We may have a shot at eliminating uh, this, uh, this uh, virus, um, but that, vi that vaccine will have to be available. It will have to be highly effective. It will have to be made available to everyone. The UN agency says there is no way to guarantee that easing restrictions will not trigger a second wave of infections. And there is still much that is unknown. Take for instance children. While thought to be generally less affected by the coronavirus, making up just 2% of all cases, a new development is sparking concern in the US. More than 100 children in New York alone have been diagnosed with a rare inflammatory disease that appears linked to the coronavirus. It's an inflammation of the blood vessels which could affect the heart. So it's more of a cardiac case than a respiratory case, which is a new manifestation of the COVID uh, virus. Similar cases have been reported in Europe. Doctors are describing it as a new phenomenon, similar to a rare condition called the Kawasaki disease shock syndrome. Nine-year-old Bobby Dean had a stomach ache and a fever, and doctors initially thought it was an appendix infection. And then by Monday night, it had progressed to a low-grade fever and a heavy amount of vomiting, and he couldn't keep anything down. Wednesday or Thursday night is when they said that they were pretty certain that this was the inflammatory syndrome that they've discovered has been associated with COVID-19 um, with kids. After several fatalities, doctors are being asked to keep tabs of this development, though they say it is still considered rare.